Okay, first things first, I want to make this clear, all right? I had like a few hours of sleep when I was doing the reaction, so my words were sloppy and all that, and I'm not going to lie, it wasn't the cleanest presentation when I was doing the first reaction to Alone at Prom. But let me give you a recap, okay? And all of y'all can relate to this because we were all students going to school at one point in our lives. Think about this. Are you the type of student that, say, you was uh, doing homework or assignment that whenever there was a question prompt, would you think things in your own perspective and answer it in your own way? Or would you look at how someone else answered a question, think of it in their own way and try to word it in your own way based on what that person said? Key difference. Are you going to answer that question the way you would? Or are you going to answer that question based on how someone else answered it? That's the key thing. And you got to realize that, yeah, we may not always have all the answers, but sometimes you got to discover that on your own. It's the same thing with music. All right. Same fucking concept. And that's the thing with Tori. He's out here. He's like, he's like, you know, on his own word. He's like looking at someone else's answer. Like, oh, he did like that. Like that. All right. I'm going to do like that. Just write it like that. Just different words. It's like basically copy and pasting. That's what he's doing when he's singing on those songs on uh, Alone at Prom. And I'm telling you right now. This nigga is half ass in that record. That's why it's okay. It's decent. It's it's something that I would even consider it serious. I would consider it a Tory Lane's parody. It's a parody work compared to what he could really do if he put his ass to work, man. I uh, this shit ain't it. It ain't fucking it, man. And I'm telling y'all right now, like it's okay. It's decent. It's better than that gratata shit that he was dropping. All right, fuck all that bullshit. <laughs> but yeah. It's okay. It's decent. It's not something I'm going to visit and listen to again. I mean, for God's sakes, I'm still listening to his records that he made seven, eight years back. And that shit still sounds fresh in you. And I'm creating new memories with that shit as I'm going in the present. That's the difference between making music that's for the moment and music that's timeless. And this nigga had the nerve to go on Twitter and tweet, oh, we got to, uh, we got to stop, we got to start taking music serious or whatever. He was saying about how, like, um, like, oh, man, every time we drop music, it only lasts for like for a month or two or something like that. He was talking about how we got to make music timeless. But to be able to do that, you got it starts with you. homie. you got to really look into it and answer or basically make music like how you would answer a question. You got to think of it in your own ways, in your own terms, in your own ideas. Yeah, not everyone's going to accept it. But, nigga, at least you keeping it real and 100 and people gonna fuck with you. This shit right here is just copy and paste. That's all he did. He just copied and pasted it, and he sang in ways that other folks have sang it. And that's what people have always had issues with them biting and all this and shit. He never did that first and foremost on the come up. I can promise you that for a fact that everything he's done, he's kind of built off of what he's done with his voice, experimenting, figuring out what he can do, what he can't do. And then every time someone makes it, you know, become an industry artist, they all want to like, get in a group be like okay now this shit is easier we'll just work together copy off each other and this and that it's like you can't do that with music bro like what are you doing what's the purpose of making music if you're just gonna be like everybody else some of y'all don't fucking get that shit like music is a way to show your identity who you fucking are as a being as a person is that really how you want to do it okay that's their prerogative but you cannot go out there and support and say oh that's uh, that's that's not it like it's like giving everybody A's if we're all answering the same way and not thinking for ourselves. That's the pro problem right now. Sometimes mob mentality can be toxic and it cannot help you if you cannot learn to be independent and think for your fucking self. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all don't get that. Y'all over here, oh, this and that, because like I say something that you don't like to hear. Well, guess what? What I say may not be something that you want to hear, but it's something you need to hear. And that's what you got to do going forward. I'm telling y'all, like, you guys got to fucking understand. When I speak things, I'm not trying to criticize the younger generation or anything like that or the younger audience. I'm trying to say, at the end of the day, the future is prominent. We got to work hard towards it and get there. And music is a process, man. Music is one side of it. It helps in life. It helps us get through the highs, the lows, and everything. And whatever we put into it, that process matters. It's important. You know, and I just want y'all to get that in your head. I'm not trying to knock y'all for your taste, but I'm just saying sometimes, damn it, you got to have some fucking uh, integrity when you're doing this shit. You got to have some t sort of fucking, um, you got to have a bucket to hold all this water in. You know what I mean? You can't have any holes seeping through it. 
You got to have your shit hold water for a long time. And I'm telling you right now, Tory had that shit. And as soon as he became famous and got all this recognition, nigga damn near forgot it. It's crazy. It's crazy. Everyone has their own unique scenario. You know, um, I was reading about what people were talking about the weekend. It's like, man, the nigga, all he did was focus on his sounds, the things that he liked to do. He liked to do incorporate 80 sounds in his music. And guess what? As he started progressing through life, he found ways to make it better and more incorporated. And guess what? Now he's got his shit finalized. That's why you got Starboy. That shit slams. Nigga was going through between 80 sounds to fucking hip hop trap. I mean, he was doing it all. There was a reason why Starboy stands out so hard. My Dear Melancholy, the same thing. A wonderful EP. I could go back and visit those records to play from beginning to end. I'll always enjoy it. Same thing with, uh, well, After Hours, I'm kind of like, eh, it's iffy. There's a couple tracks I don't really fuck with, but it's just not my cup of tea. That's all it is. But other than that, classic album. You feel me? And there's always some type of visual representation, whether it's in his music videos or what you hear in the niggas' lyrics. I don't get that when I listen to Tory. All that shit sounds plastic fabric. It just don't sound legitimate. It don't sound real. And I criticize this about TNT3. Man, that nigga basically just took whatever shit he said on Lost Cause or whatever, recycled material, and just repeated that again. For what? For new audience to hear you? Come on. That ain't it. To me, it's like you cannot think about the rely on the past to help you get back through the present at the same time you can't what's my call it rely on others to get through your current predicaments you got to figure that shit out on your own sometimes and just go like that otherwise if we just keep pressing the easy button man we'll never grow in life we'll always stay the same and we'll never evolve and be a better being that we and see a different world a different perspective that we thought we would never see you guys gotta have an open mind for that shit that's on y'all my phone's about to die right now, but that's all I got to say. That's my two cent, my two piece. I hope y'all take it and, you know, take it as a positive note. And then really, when I criticize, man, I'm only trying to speak for trying to make us better, man. I ain't here to bring down anybody. So forget all that bitterness and fuck all that bullshit. All right? Y'all stay safe, stay blessed, and enjoy your holidays. All right? That's all there is to it. God bless. Deuces.